In today's video, we are going to be doing a deep dive into the tone of who did you think I was. This video has been something that's been over a year in the making now, trying to gather the evidence and actually make a fully fleshed out video for you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. It's one I'm very excited to make for you guys and to share with you all, so hope you enjoy it. So today we are focusing predominantly on the tone of the main riff of who did you think I was. If you guys know me and you know the channel, you know that the John Mayer Trail is really my favorite incarnation of John's whenever they perform. It's just, I just really love it. And that era especially is when I always look back on the tone, the playing, everything was just absolutely crazy. So essentially the reason why I'm making this video in the first place is that the generally accepted theory in regards to the who did you think I was tone, again, just focusing right now on the main riff. We'll get to the solo stuff in a little bit, but focusing on the main riff tone, the generally accepted theory behind that is that John uses the Keeley modded blues driver in order to give him that light overdriven tone for when he performs the main riff and the chorus of that song. And for the longest time now, I've kind of been going against that theory and I've started to believe and have a hunch at least that it's actually the Ibanez Tube Screamer, the TS-808 Vintage one that John used during the John Mayer Trail that actually is the pedal he's using for that overdriven sound. And today, we're essentially gonna deep dive into it and near the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you guys some hard evidence as to whether or not this theory of mine is correct. Now, if you aren't too familiar with John's rig during the trio era, I've done a whole video dedicated to the gear that he used at that time in his career. So it'll be linked in the description down below and go check that out. But I'll do a very short recap here for you guys just because it's very important in order to get the most out of this video. And if you're gonna stick through the whole video, cause I know it's gonna be a long one, uh, you kinda need to know a little bit about the gear. So quick refresher for everyone here. During the John Mayer trio era, John primarily used three amps in order to get his sound. And of course the amplifiers play such a huge part in it. There were essentially two different formulas that you would see depending on the performance, although they generally use more or less the same kind of setup. Now, there would always be at least one two rock custom reverb signature. More often than not, this was a version one and there's actually the custom made 83 version one that they made for John at the time. Sometimes you'd see two of them though as part of the amp setup. There generally was always a dumble in the mix, whether or not that was a dumble overdrive special or a dumble overdrive reverb. The John Mary Trail rig for the most part always had a dumble as part of the setup. Then kind of the extra factor for the third amplifier was a 1964 Fender Vibe reverb. So that was kind of the mix that you saw in terms of amplifiers during this era. As far as the pedal board is concerned for this video at least, there were three pedals that are kind of in question. There is a version one Keeley Katana that John used as a clean boost, which doesn't really have a lot of relevance to this video. Then there also is that Keeley modded blues driver from Boss, and then of course an Ibanez TS-808, the vintage one. John did use a Keeley modded TS-808, which is very close in sound to the vintage unit, but 90% of the time he actually used the vintage TS-808. All right, with that quick refresher around the gear of the John Mayer Trio era done, let's actually go back to this era and we're gonna listen to a couple quick clips here. Now, I know at this point what some of you guys might be thinking. Well, if we're discussing the tone of who did you think I was, it varies even between the era of the John Mayer Trio when you listen to different performances. And that's actually one point we're gonna get into right away first, but keep in mind, the main overall tone of who did you think I was, if you just think of it in your head, if you're a John Mayer fan, obviously, and you're watching this video, I'm sure you, you obviously are, and you know this song, the tone throughout the eras from the John Mayer trio to where the light is, to the performances that he did in 2010 and 2016 and 17 with the John Mayer trio, and of course, even the lightest one we've had in 2023, the overall tone of that song, while there's been slight changes to it, Overall, it stayed within that same ballpark. But with that all said, we're gonna take a listen to two different performances from the John Mayer Trio era. The first one is from David Letterman, and the second one is from The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Take a listen to these two different clips. <laughs> Okay, I think you all can agree with me that the guitar tone that we just heard from those two different performances is extremely different. And by the way, the full performances will be linked in the description down below if you want to go take a listen to them afterwards. 
but there's a very good reason for me bringing that up right now. So let's take a closer look at the pedal board that John had on The Tonight Show. Now, if you look at it, and you guys will obviously be seeing a screenshot of it on your screen right now, John does not have the Tube Screamer, the TS-808 on his pedal board at all. He has the Keeley Katana, which, okay, it's a clean boost, that's not really part of this conversation. He has the Keeley Modded Blues Driver and then the Full Tone 69 Fuzz, which again, not really part of this video, but it's there. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, if I'm trying to spark the debate that John's actually using a Tube Screamer for the tone of Who Did You Think I Was? Well, we just heard it without that pedal on his pedal board. So it must be that Keeley modded blues driver. However, we've already established that the tone from those two performances is extremely different. And when you hear more or less what the guitar tone from that era for Who Did You Think I Was at least mainly sounded like with the Tube Screamer on the pedal board compared to this one, you really understand that the Tonight Show's tone is extremely clean. And what's actually going on here is John is just plugging his guitar straight into the amplifiers. He has no effects on, in terms of drive pedals at least, that's coloring his tone. None of those pedals are on. It's just guitar into amp and probably the guitar volume a little bit higher up than normal. And obviously the amps are probably, you know, um, set a bit differently as well for this specific performance. But listening to that compared to the one on David Letterman, it's extremely clear that his guitar tone is just clean. Now, what's even more gonna prove this theory is that I'm gonna slow down the footage and freeze frame it right as John's about to launch into the solo. And you can see his foot start to move towards the Keeley modded blues driver. And looking at his pedal board, if he was using the Keeley modded blues driver for the main riff and the main parts of the song, you think for the solo, maybe he'd step on the Keeley Katana in order to kind of boost and saturate his so tone for the solo. However, right before he launches into the solo, and unfortunately the footage actually crosses over to Steve Jordan, you see his foot start to move to step on the pedal for the solo, and it's clear it's not going towards the Keeley Katana, it's going to that Keeley modded blues driver. Again, just more proof that, okay, what we just heard there is just guitar, guitar and amp. There's nothing else going on in terms of pedals that are dry pedals, overdrive pedals, stuff like that. Now, this is actually what's responsible for a lot of that variation in tone that you would hear during the John Mayer trio era. Sometimes for Who Did You Think I Was, John would just run guitar straight into the amplifier with no drive pedals on at all. His tone would be a lot cleaner. Then he'd step on a drive pedal or two for the solo. Other times, clearly, when we listen to that David Letterman performance, there's clearly an overdrive pedal on that's helping to give him that tone because the differences there are just so extreme, it's not a difference or a matter of one overdrive pedal or the other that's on. It's not gonna make that much of a difference in how clean his tone is versus how overdriven it is in comparison with those two clips. So that's one thing I just wanted to establish right away is that during the trio era, there's variation in the tones you'd hear, but that's down to predominantly at least clean amplifier and clean guitar tone versus overdriven guitar tone thanks to an overdrive pedal. All right, so let's bring it back around to that theory of mine that John actually wasn't using the Keeley Modded Blues Driver for the main tone of Who Did You Think I Was, but instead that TS-808. Now, what really kind of gave this hunch of mine a lot of life, it's about a year ago now at the time of making this video, maybe a little longer, I was going back and watching some of the John Mary Trail performances from 2016 at the Apollo Theater. Now, in and of itself, that's a really great John Mary Trail performance, but what they actually did during rehearsals is record a take of them performing Who Did You Think I Was? And that rehearsal footage, that'll all be linked in the description down below for you guys to watch the full thing, but let's first take a listen to it. And again, I think we all can agree that that is how Who Did You Think I Was is supposed to sound. Given it's about 11 years after the John Mayer Trio era, it sounds like it's supposed to sound. And of course, down to John's hands as well, of course, and his amp selection and everything. But in general, that's how it's supposed to sound. And it's definitely not clean amplifier tone at all. That's a little bit of an overdriven sound that we can assume is from a pedal. Now, let's take a look at what his pedal board was like for the Apollo Theater show and for this rehearsal for that performance. Well, the Klon Center that he was using in this era, and obviously still using, but what he was using for his light overdrive at that time, which kind of was taking over for the Keeley Modded Blues Driver a little bit, um, in terms of if you think of placement on this pedal board, the Klon Centaur, well, it's actually not on his pedal board. His pedal board, in terms of drive pedals, 
consists of not one, but two Ibanez TS-10s. And when I first kind of made this connection, when I was really thinking about the tone of the song, and then noticed, oh wait, for that rehearsal footage, he has to be using a tube screamer to give him that tone. That's the drive pedal that he's using to help with that overdrive and sound, obviously. So that's what first gave this whole theory a lot of life, was when I realized, okay, the guitar tone from the rehearsal footage also sounds pretty much bang on to the guitar tone of Who Did You Think I Was during the Search for Everything World Tour. <laughs> listening to those two clips quickly back to back, I think you guys can agree with me again that they sound incredibly similar. Yes, we're hearing different guitars and the amp rig is not quite identical. The Dual Professional is there, but there's no Dumble Steel String Singer 004. There are two J-Mod PRS amplifiers instead. But overall, the guitar tone sounds extremely similar. And of course we know that during the Search for Everything World Tour, John would have been using the Ibanez TS-10 or the Klon Centaur as kind of his two main constants on his pedal board. Now this actually transitions us nicely into discussing that light overdrive that John uses throughout his career. That's apart from the Tube Screamer, which is always a constant, no matter what, if it's the 808 or the TS-10, a Tube Screamer in the rig is always a constant. Now John did not stick with using the Keeley Mod Blues Driver throughout his whole career, at least until present day. About earlier on-ish into the Continuum Tour, he actually just ditched the Keely Mod Blues Driver and just stuck with using the Marshall Mark I Blues Breaker. And then of course later on he'd switch to using the Klon Center over the Blues Breaker. But the role of all three of those pedals has more or less been the same. Now let's go back actually to where the light is because we can't discuss the John Mayer Trio sound without touching on where the light is because that is just... It's so important when you think about John's tone and his career, that performance as a whole is just incredibly important. But of course, focusing on the John Mayer Trio set and specifically, who did you think I was? Now, in the rack unit, we know for sure for where the light is, there was a Marshall Mark I Blues Breaker as well as one Ibanez TS-10 and then a second one that might have been a backup. We don't fully know why there were two kind of around that time. Now, as I mentioned, the Keely Modded Blues Driver was in the rack unit earlier on in the Continuum Tour, but a few shows before Where Did You Think I Was actually took place in the tour, it was removed. And we know this because we have different shots of his rack unit. Now, we don't have a shot of his rack unit, for that actual performance. And there's one theory that's going around that John actually brought back the Keely Modded Blues Driver, specifically kind of for the John Mayer Trio set, especially because that pedal was very important to the sound of that era and for a big televised concert, a big televised and you know recorded, professionally recorded uh, show, it maybe would be important to bring back a pedal that kind of honors that sound a little bit more than the Mark I Blues Breaker. But either way, the guitar tone of Who Did You Think I Was when you listen to it, it's definitely got, there's definitely some drive there. There's definitely a bit more gain even than what we'd hear from the John Mayer trio era. Now, let's discuss it, the possibility at least of it being the Mark I Blues Breaker because if you subscribe to the theory that it was the Keely Modded Blues Driver during the John Mayer trio era, you naturally would then assume that he stuck with using the Marshall Mark I Blues Breaker for that song. And then of course, when it comes to the solo, same principle, six on either the TS-808 or for where the light is, the TS-10, and that boosts him for the solo. However, we know that the Marshall Mark I Blues Breaker is actually the pedal that kind of provides that very nice drive when it comes to gravity. <laughs> You don't mind turning the volume on the blues breaker up like a pinch. Now I've touched on this fact a few times on the channel, but it's one that I think is incredibly important and often actually overlooked. The fact that John even says himself in that footage you guys just saw, hey, can you turn up the blues breaker a little bit? And he's just playing the main intro of Gravity. Now of course for Gravity, volume knob on his guitar is definitely not gonna be on 10, but you're not gonna go from getting the tone from Who Did You Think I Was with the Mark I blues breaker to then getting something like gravity. And 
this same principle applies with the Klon Centaur. John's using it as a light overdrive, and I know his gain setting isn't using those magical unicorn fairy dust diodes in it. They're not actually really being activated, but it's definitely providing him a little bit of more something than the Keely Katana. But the tone that he gets out of the Klon Centaur is not enough on its own, at least, to give you something like the tone of Who Did You Think I Was. Now, it's at this point, I think we should kind of discuss the theory again and essentially what is actually up and what is actually going on with the Who Did You Think I Was tone. So fast forward to this current year at the time making this video, 2023, the John Mayer Trio performs for the first time in, I believe, was six years for Love Rocks in New York City. The first song they perform was Who Did You Think I Was, and it sounded absolutely brilliant. It sounded exactly like you expect it to sound. I've touched on this performance a couple of times on the channel, discussed it. Those videos will be linked in the description down below. However, John's pedal board was extremely interesting because it had three drive pedals on it. A first Ibanez TS-10, the Klon Centaur, and then a second. TS-10. Now shortly after this performance, we actually got some great footage of John stepping on the Klon Centaur and the second TS-10 for the solo. And I remember in the, the one video I believe on the pedal board breakdown that I did for this performance, I said something along the lines of, I have a theory that John actually was using the very first TS-10 for his main overdrive sound for the entire performance of Who Did You Think I Was? I think that was the foundation. So for me, I'm thinking that it's a TS-10 that's on for the bass tone, because then you can actually see when John goes to the solo, he stacks on the Klon Centaur into the very far left TS-10 for the solo. So that's what I think is going on for the kind of entire Who Did You Think I Was tone, bass tone, and the solo. <laughs> Well, fast forward to a couple weeks ago now, and we got this footage. That's right, right after Bill Murray finishes giving the introductions and kind of stalling and entertaining the crowd while everything's getting set up for the John Mary Trail performance, John comes out and you hear his clean guitar tone, then he steps on that first TS-10, and then all of a sudden, that's the tone of Who Did You Think I Was? And when I saw this footage, it was just a big aha kind of moment where I was like, yes! I was right when I had that theory of him using that first TS-10 for that tone. Now, let's bring it all back around. The tone from that performance, again, overall, excusing some minor variations in the way it was recorded and the specific amplifiers and the guitar, it has the tone of a Tube Screamer. The Who Did You Think I Was bass sound is a Tube Screamer style sound, and this translates across all eras, because they all overall sound more or less the same. The TS-10 has always been constant, and the TS-808. A Tube Screamer has always been constant. And that is what John uses for the main riff of Who Did You Think I Was? Because again, we look at the Apollo Theater performances, we look at this one for Love Rocks. It's the TS-10 in those instances, and it's gonna transition into the John Mayer Trio era as well. I am certain of it. We if I haven't found footage of John stepping on the TS-808 and during the John Mary Trio for this specific song. I don't think we ever will at this point unless some really incredible stuff gets unearthed. But I think I'm safe in saying that this is actually what's going on. John is not using the Keeley Modded Blues Driver for the main tone of Who Did You Think I Was. It's actually the Tube Screamer, whether it's the TS-808 during the John Mayer Trio era, specifically with that Keely Modded Blues Driver, or for Where the Light Is in every kind of incarnation of it going forward, it's always been a Tube Screamer. If you're still watching up until this point, number one, thank you. But I hope you guys can just see out of the pure passion and love of John's guitar tone, and especially the John Mayer Trio era, 
that this theory and my willingness to actually like figure this out came out of. And I'm just really stoked to actually have footage of what John is using for that sound. And even though it's the most recent footage we have of it, I really do truly believe that it translates across all eras of Who Did You Think I Was. And there was definitely a bit of validation that I got in having that theory and then trying to find footage and spending time just playing around even with my own TS-10 and I've owned a vintage 808 as well. Just trying to work on getting closer to that tone, but never having concrete evidence of John actually stepping on that pedal for that song. And then when I got it, like I said, it just was really amazing. Now, I actually have a reveal for you guys. Hopefully you stuck around if you watched the video I did, just doing a fun, not very serious or scientific test, shooting out the Klon Centaur, the Keely Modded Blues Driver, and the Ibanez TS-10 for the guitar tone of Who Did You Think I Was? Now, I gotta say, um, a lot of you in the comments have really great ears. I haven't responded to a lot of the comments at all yet, but I've been reading them. And a few of you guys actually said that Number one, you guys got all three of them in order correctly. The very first pedal that you would have heard was the Keely Mod Blues Driver, second was the Ibanez TS-10, and the last one was the Quan Centaur. <laughs> flattered that one of you guys it'll be up on your screen right now a little comment um actually said that uh had i used the two rock or a dumble i would have been bang on to the tone i'm very flattered i as i mentioned in that video i wasn't 100 happy with just how my tones my tones sound through the universal audio aux but uh it was nice to see um a lot of you guys actually comment and say that the ts10 is what sounded the closest in terms of the overall who did you think i was tone so I'm glad that that did translate for the most part in that video, which just is a fun kind of cheeky video I wanted to make being like, hey, I got these three pedals. Let's, you know, after spending way too much time trying to dial in my aux settings with cabs and everything, I just went back to the gravity preset, unselected the built-in reverb, and then one take, all three pedals, and I was like, I'm done with this. But I still uploaded the video after much debate of even doing so, but yeah. So I'm, uh, I was really happy that uh, a lot of you guys actually got what I was trying to, but I was trying to showcase in the blind test of those three pedals that the TS-10 is what sounded the closest. And in this video, of course, well, what do you know? TS-10 or TS-808 is what he's been using. So you guys, thank you so much. If you stayed with me until the end of this video, I hope you can just see the passion that I have for John's guitar tone and his gear and just my love and care to spend the time and effort to do this and just this whole channel, obviously, it's just a big passion project of mine. I just, just for fun. But this was really fun. And this was a video I've been looking forward to making for a very long time. And I'm very happy I finally got around to doing it. So, so if you stuck with me up until the end of this video and at this point here, and you're not subscribed to my channel, I think you owe me the subscription. I think you should do yourself the favor and hit subscribe now. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, as always, um, giving a thumbs up just helps the video and my channel grow. It helps the algorithm, the comments down below as well. Please, 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 please comment um, down below because that also helps the, the video grow. It helps my YouTube channel grow. All hail that crazy algorithm, that YouTube algorithm. But I just love to hear you guys' thoughts as well in the comments down below, especially in a video like this, which has really been something that I've been really excited to make and really looking forward to make for all of you guys. So yeah, please let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. If you did listen to that blind test that I did, and then if you got them right, if you were half right, just let me know your thoughts overall again, but that wasn't like, that was just for fun. That was nothing serious to me, but like, oh, I'm gonna nail the tone and conf like super trick everyone. I just like, oh, there's three tones I like, and boom, done. I'm over trying to spend all the time dialing in the perfect aux settings with the vibe reverb. Yeah, I can't wait to mic stuff up in the future because that was a pain. But anyways, 
time to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you stuck with me up to this point, you're amazing. I really appreciate you guys. Let me know what else you guys want me to do. I think Good Love is on the way is going to be the next one I actually tackle. So I'm looking forward to that one. Hope you guys are too. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Anyway, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like what you see.